good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whenever you're watching this. It could be watching any time, it could be the middle of the night for all I know. The middle, yes. The middle of the day, the middle of the night, middle of any time, okay. So good evening, so hello, welcome to the video. Fun times, are good times. Anybody read that story the other day, made me laugh this, that this guy found a cheque on a train for four million pounds written out to a certain sweep company. Now, uh, I won't mention the sweep company, but he actually was honest, this bloke, and he sent the cheque off to the company and explained, no he didn't, he actually wrote to the company and said he found his cheque. And they told him to destroy the cheque and then photograph it and give photographic evidence, which he did do. And the sweet company, in a good gesture, sent them six packets of sweets for a film of limp on cheque. Okay, for honesty. Uh, okay, just, yeah, just made me laugh that story. What a tight company that is. Okay, like I say, I'm not mentioning the sweet company. I don't know if anybody saw it. If you did, you'll know which sweet company it was. Okay. Uh, also, Lorraine was telling me before, because I was speaking to Lorraine before I did this video, that she once found inside a tin of cat food, because she has a cat and it's called Chico. Yes, Chico the cat. A lovely, cuddly little thing it is. Sits on your knee and lets you stroke it all day long. And I love it. Not really, it's uh, a little bit naughty, Chico, sometimes, <laughs> okay. I like cats, I like all animals. Anyway, she found in a tin of cat food a blue wrapper, a blue piece of paper. So she wrote to the company and they wrote back saying that before the meat is actually put into the tin it does come in a big wrapper and the blue wrapper would have got mixed up and got inside the tin somehow. And then a real good gesture, now this was good this, they sent her six tins of cat food and a voucher for more cat food. Now that is good company policy. I had a uncle who once had a packet of crisp and there was something wrong with the crisp. I can't remember what. Anyway, they sent them to the company. I can't remember which crisp, crisp company it was. And they sent a great big box of crisp back to them in a uh, will of good gesture. If anybody's got any stories like that, please do share them with me. Please comment if the comments are working. Because a couple of days the comments weren't working. A couple of videos ago, sorry, the comments weren't working. But hopefully they're working now. And, yeah, so, anybody else got stories like that, please do comment. Also, I thought I'd talk about competitions tonight as well. Has anybody ever won a good competition? I've won a couple of things. I once won, my one I remember the most, I once won a Walkman. Now do you remember the Walkmans from the 1980s? Yeah, I was sat in this restaurant in Preston, in Lancashire, <laughs> which had just opened. And there was a DJ on the radio and they came up and said, would you like to win a Walkman? I said, okay. They said, all you have to do is name ten things on the menu. I said, well, I don't know. I've only just I've not been in here before. And they said, don't worry, I'll put the menu in front of you. So all I had to do was read the menu list and I won a Walkman. Ah, that was a good cheat, wasn't it? And I think I've still got that Walkman somewhere. I don't even know if it worked. No, I may have threw it away. I don't know. I might have it somewhere in the house. <laughs> It'd be good to see if it still works. So has anybody else ever won a competition like that? Let me know that in the comments as well. I just love reading the comments as well. And I remember one time, there was a promotion on a can of lager, I can't remember which lager it was, but my mum opened a tin of lager, a can of lager, and she said to my dad, I'll tell you it's a bit watery. Anyway, he had to taste of it and said, yeah, it's a bit watery. And lo and behold, 
it said on the can you can win a free fiver. To win the free fiver, the can had to contain water instead of lager. And my mum, and then they did find a piece of string inside which they pulled out and there it was, a free fiver. So that was a good one. Not if you wanted to drink it wasn't because uh, you were drinking water but, but, but yeah, not a bad prize is it? I've entered competitions and things, I've never won anything big and uh, I'd love to win something really big but wouldn't we all? Have you ever won a competition? Let me know that in the comments. There's a lot of comments I want tonight, isn't there? <laughs> or today, yeah. So let me know, okay. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. It's been a quick one today, but I just thought I'd tell you a few things on that. Okay. So like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, ciao for now.